Hello and welcome to the Mike from LA1 Network here on YouTube and no, I do not want to delete Jonathan Quick. No, Dustin Brown, no. And actually, speaking of Jonathan Quick, he's actually the next character to join the Mike from LA1 Network. We are not going to make him a... No, no, no. We're going to make him... Since his last name is Quick, so we're going to make him a running a halfback here. Just like Eric Carr. But we're going to make him a 32 here. Since he is from Connecticut, I'm going to try and find Milford. Yeah, here it is, Milford. Yeah, there it is. But since I want to pay homage to the hockey team, so we're going to go with the whale and go with the whale here. For the primary color this time, we're gonna go green on white. No, no, no. We're gonna go with the powder blue. Cause, you know, that's the way, that's the way of the whale. We're gonna add a last name here, which is of course, Mr. MVP himself, whom my opinion should have won the Vezina Trophy, but I respect the voters for picking Longquist too, cause he had a great season too, so but unfortunately we didn't get to see that battle of teammates. Hold on, I'll be right back. Just fell down. Well, I was way off. Your people, whoops. Oh 
Oh, whoop. There we go. There we go. Jonathan Quick. We're going to make him a speedster. Duh. We're not going to make him an iron player this time. So, let's start his road to glory. Here. So, team number one. Well, he is from Connecticut. I thought it would be only appropriate to put team number one as the Connecticut Huskies. Number two. We're going to do a, a school that, was, that made the most appearances on the show today. It, and the winner is... Arkansas. And number three. This one is a tough call. But I'm going to do the school that was in my Penn State Penalties Announcement video. Wyoming. So, here are the schools. Connecticut, Arkansas, and Wyoming. Why did I choose Wyoming? I have no idea, but I have to choose someone for the third spot, so random spot, I guess. So, Jonathan Quick. This is an 83 here. So, here's our Skylink. We're going to then the first, the Whale will take on the, sea, the Skyhawks. Then they'll be heading... Then they'll be heading to Weathers. Well, then they're gonna take on Weathers Field. Then they're gonna take on Stores to take on the Rangers. Huh? <laughs> That's funny, cause the Connecticut Whales affiliate are the Rangers. Then they head to Middletown to take on the Magicians. Then they head to Grow. Then Growtown comes to visit to take on the Tigers. And speaking of Tigers, Bridgeport for the town rivalry against the their Tigers. But can they make it the Sound Tigers, please? Cause that'll make it nostalgic here. Then uh, West Haven comes to town with the Antelopes. Then it'll be New London with the Timberwolves. Then it'll be Stratford against the Lions. Oh, problemo. And this will be the last video of the day. Then, now it's time to take on New Haven here, people. As Jonathan Quick begins his road to glory. And this is the final time today we're going to see the sign of the day. Before I start uploading these videos tonight. And the sign of the day is perfect timing there. I want to be on TV for the third time. Jeez. And here come the whale. Play up that branch bonanza that goes dan 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 Uh, does that sound anything like branch bonanza? Yeah, I didn't change the uniforms because, well, I want this to be a more of a nostalgic trip here. But too bad it only lasts nine episodes. Aww. So East Haven gets to choose and they lose the coin toss. So we're going to receive and they're going to defend Millfoot. So it's time for the slants here. So Jonathan gets to work here. And, of course, Jonathan, is not only he won the Cosmite, but he won the... The hearts of millions for saying the dropping three f bombs during the championship rally when, um, how about this beep it team right here? Some people say he's drunk, and I say, uh, they're probably right. Quick was probably drunk, but really, isn't there an excuse? He had a drunken celebration. He didn't act as drunk as Patrick Kane did two years ago, but really. And Jonathan did a per acted like he was drunk. Darren, wait. Who the heck was that guy? Seriously, who the heck was that guy? Jeez, give Jonathan something to do, guys. Come on. Stop doing slant plays. Well, first down, though. There we go. So Jonathan can get to work. 
And here goes Jonathan, and uh, wow. Well, two yards. And first down again. So it's time for the ESO week here. As Milford continues. And Jonathan once again keeps getting two yards here. Two yards average here. Come on, Jonathan, raise your average here. You're the NB. You won the Conn Smythe Trophy. There we go. There we go. And ooh, look out. Oh, so close, but no cigar. But 7 nothing though. And now Milford has a second and 13 attempt. They're going to go for the slip screen here. So, once again, and here's Jonathan. Ooh, almost got it there. And Milford's up 14 to nothing. It's now time for the halfback dive here. Here tonight as... Now it is time for the dive again. So Jonathan's getting a bigger average by the minute. And there's another first down for Quicker as he now has an 11.4 at yards average here. So he got the nerves out for senior year for Mr. Quick as Jonathan continues to impress people. And of course that one gives him three yards. So now he's back out there with 3.42 left, and, uh, and once again, I forgot to change the stadium. But this might be the last of uh, my road to glory on this game. So, but what I understand, so guys, if you're watching this right now, type in the comments if there's more stadium choices to choose from. Because I'm not really sure about the stadium choices in this game. They give you three. That's it. Is, isn't there a reason why? Thanks. And once again, Quick is to prove useless here. So first and down. It's now time for the flanker drive. So this means I have to go up and to the right. And second and five. And once again, it's now time for the four verticals here. So come on, quarterback. Give Jonathan another rushing play. Come on. Give him a shot. Come on. And there's a flag on the play. Great. And it's on us. No, it's on them. First and ten on their own 48. And really. And for some reason, they call a timeout here. And again, they do another passing play. So Jonathan's hopes of getting a rushing play are dashed. As 52 wants to get on his th off him, and there it is. And once again, a four vertical play. And for some reason, they do it again, and they keep changing the play here. The offensive coordinator is screwing things for Jonathan here. And, well, it, he dropped it. That is probably why I chose him as a halfback. If he was a wide receiver, he would have dropped balls like crazy. And, first down. And once again, it's another passing play. Yay. And you know how much Jonathan loves these. And Cartman, jeez. As Jonathan is going to be... Wait, who is the intended target? Okay, so it's all time for the slants again. So Cartman, I mean, Quick is useless. Sorry, I thought I was going to still get used to this new guy. Jonathan being a part of the team. And look at that. Nope. And here we go. Jonathan's going to get in the end zone for once here. If somehow he can make it in. And, nope, not quite. And they don't give him another chance. So the coach says, screw you, you're going to rest. 
So it is 21 to 3 in favor of Milford as as this is Jonathan's hometown. He went and went on to Lewiston to play for the Maniacs who sadly do not exist anymore. We are later going to be moving to Shellenbrook to become the Phoenix. Yeah, the Phoenix. And there is another first down for Jonathan. And right now he is definitely living up to his name. So all he needs is five more yards and he'll have a hundred yards here. Here in this game as look at this, look out. Touchdown! Touchdown whale! Dun 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 you guys know what the tune goes. What a play. 52. And then 6 tried to get him, but unfortunately not this time. But wait. What does it say on the jerseys? Really? They say East Haven. Is that the best they could come up with? So it is 21 to 28 to 3 thanks to Jonathan's touchdown. And right now it is a pretty much pretty much straightforward. And now there's another first down here. So they're probably going to go. Yep. Another passing play. As second down, so they gotta do. Thank you. That's exactly what it's gonna do. Now they're gonna do the counter here. As look at this. Oh no, touchdown! But he did help the help the team get the touchdown though. So it's 35 to three with less than a minute to go in the third. And right now they are. Right now, East Haven fans are pretty much near leaving the field right now because right now they are getting blown out. And look at that. 12 rushes, 157 yards, 13.1 yards average. That is pretty good so far for him. As right now, and look at that. There goes 87, and he gets pushed to the out, out of bounds. So... Down here, so it's 38 to 3, and they're gonna sit him out, and that is it. Game over as the whale win with as Jonathan Quick gets he gets 12 yards, 157 yards, one dot, one, one rushing yard, two receptions, 10 re receiving yards. Here, so that is it for that game. That is it for this game here. And we're just about done for this episode and pretty much done with Road to Glory Thursdays for today. So, come back next time when we get ready for more. Here as we got to choose a school now. And once again, it's Buffalo, Temple, and Army here. And we're gonna he's going to choose Temple this time. So I think this should just about do it for this episode. So, come back next time as... The whale take on the Weathersfield Rockets. Later, folks.